Let's talk a little bit about hats. Hats. Alrighty. Just when is a hat crushable? Um, generally, a crushable hat, the giveaway is going to usually be no leather sweatbands, no silk lining. Um, when you see a hat with just felt over here, it's not because they're trying to be cheap. It's generally because it's a crushable hat. Um, even some of the cheapest, cheapest hats, you know, Chinese, whatever, have linings in there. So it's not something they're skimping on. But they take out the lining, they take out the leather, and they take out the reed right at the end 
of the leather sweatband there's a little like a wire generally like a nylon wire which gives it its circle it kind of keeps bouncing back to the circular shape not like a square or a you know, messed up shape that's the reed that's doing that so they take out the reed they take out the leather they take out the lining and there's only felt left with generally either a ribbon or a little piece of cloth sweatband um, the the giveaway is always going to be that there's generally some other writing somewhere they'll almost always tell you if it's a crushable hat it'll say here on the crown packable crushable something like that if it says light felt l-i-t-e light felt that's a very good american made crushable felt that's also rollable packable um there are some other type of hats like fur felt crushers most of those again no leather sweatband you know better stuff like from stetson and porcelain and stuff they'll have a ribbon here or a cloth or something like that and then there is what you call pre-bankruptcy Borsellinos. Um, before they had their bankruptcy, they had a series called Quality Superior, which was you know, about 375 and up. Um, it was their very best series. You could order like a Como model in that, or you could order it in a Rainproof line. You could order it in a um, Augusta line or a... Uh, uh, it's the other Triumpho line. There's all these cheaper versions. The, the best was uh, Quality Superior. Underneath that you had um, Rainproof line and the Handmade series. Then you had Augusta and Triumph were like way below those. And um, basically it's just different qualities of felt. So if you're getting a Quality Superior, we'll say in here Alessandria, quality superiore in Italian on the silk lining and um, if it says something else like rainproof line hand handmade series Augusta Triumpho it's not that so it's got to be quality superior um, those are the best type um, they have leather sweatbands and they actually were not even meant for rolling they're fantastic now the rainproof line was their attempt to basically make a crushable hat that's you know not a hat that you could just roll up but one that's marketed for rolling up so the rainproof line is a lot of that stuff but it's a cheaper felt it's not the same exact stuff but it usually has yeah like a ribbon sweatband no lining and crushable felt um, quality superior is definitely the best you know, i've got them for like 30 years and stuff 25 years and uh they bounce back no matter what I give them, you know, how much I abuse them. Um, but those are no longer made the same way right now. They're not using the same felt. So it would have to be an older one, you know, something more than like five years old um, for it to uh, be one of these leather sweat banded roll of hats. So these again were not marketed as rollable hats, but people just started doing it because they were so soft. Um, it was just their highest quality. They had a beaver one from the series to some other things, chinchillas and things. Many expensive models. But uh, it was up to the retailer, depending on what they wanted to order. If they felt they wanted the best or they wanted a little bit lower series, each retailer would order different series, different styles. And um, yeah, it depends on what you bought and also the older ones. So they're super. But um, for the most part, you're not going to see a leather sweatband and a crushable fur felt hat. Um, this is sort of the only example. And these are technically not even crushers anyway. So, okay, you've probably seen this on this channel, but the, here's how you do it. You open up the crown completely. The hat must be dry for rolling. I never roll up a, a wet hat. Okay, open it up. The brim goes down in front and in back and on the sides. So it brings down all the way. The crown is open all the way. It's just like a bell. You know, open like a bell. Bell, bell-like. You can see what I'm talking about. Open crown, down. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, the long way, like this way, you can imagine a line this way. Okay, and you're gonna hold the hat on its side and just kind of fold it in half. Brim to brim, 
like this. Okay, another way to do it is when you're open is just go burn to burn. And then squeeze. Okay, if you have any problems like this, flip it. Brim should be down. Okay, next next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this way. So I clean it up, I get ready for rolling, and then I roll. It has to be round. It's a very round kind of a see everything is round, there's no pinches, creases, everything is round, so there's no damage anywhere. All round lines. No right angles, nothing pinched. Don't go super tight, let the hat guide you. This hat is you know, 25 years old, so don't expect it to roll this tight on the first few rolls. It'll probably look bigger, kind of like this. Again, let the hat guide you, just. And as it gets softer and softer, it'll get smaller. Put it in your breast pocket, your coat pocket, something like that, a pocketbook. You don't want anything heavy on top of it, no weights. You can put it in your backpack, make sure it's on top of all your heavy stuff. Can there be no weight. You're going to put this in a real suitcase. It's got to go inside a little shoe box or some kind of, I don't know, like a liquor tube. You know, those tubes you can put a wine bottle or a bottle of scotch in. You get those little circular cap things, like a little melon tube, anything. Even a tissue box works. You just get a box, stick it in some Kleenex. Then you pack it. Um, I would suggest using a sneaker box works way better than a tissue box. Um, for me, I don't ever have the use for that. I generally just roll it and I stick it in a pocket, jacket pocket somewhere. I like it on my person that way. I don't see the need to really roll it, but if you guys got a bunch of hats, yeah, you could, you know, get some sneaker boxes or something, any kind of hard box, then put it in the suitcase, his and hers, next to each other. That's a good way. No. Okay, the wind cord, you just ignore. Let it dangle, let it do whatever. Just ignore the wind cord. You fix that at the end. Hit your crease. The wind cord is like a lark's. Lark's knot. Basic noose, slip knot kind of thing. Loop and a loop. Yeah, just put that over at the end. I would say ignore the ribbon. Ignore the wind cord, deal with that at the end. If you have a hat that's got a crease blocked into it, it just pops back, just like that. Boom. That's what's in there. Your hat is fine. Don't do this when it's wet. Do it only when it's dry. Doesn't matter what kind of crushable hat it is. If it's a $400 hat, a $30 hat, as long as it's crushable, I would say light felt is where I would start, American-made light felt, which um, we're selling some half-price ones from USA and Italy for 55 now, but they generally go for about 100 bucks, 110 bucks for a good American-made one. You could find some cheaper Bailey ones. Baileys make some. But uh, yeah, if you see something, leather sweatbands, stiff like this, it's not crushable. Um, if you see something like this, nice and soft, hmm, no leather sweatband, no lining, most likely it is, um, rollable. That's your technique right there. Um, as far as fur felt rollable, crushable hats go, I'm not crazy about too many of them. I prefer the cheaper stuff like the light felts and stuff or the super duper quality things like the, um, you know, the pre-bankruptcy Borsalinos, which are, you know, like $400 hats that they stopped making five to seven years ago. That's kind of not the easiest thing to get. Um, there is something else. There is the uh, Akubra line. Akubra makes some incredible roll-up stuff. They're firm, they're stiff, they're thick, really heavy rabbit fur or, or wild hair, whatever they're using down there. It's very thick and hardy. Seems like the piece of fur felt will pretty much last you a lifetime. Um, and all the Cooper hats generally do. We sell one from them, uh, a, a rollable crushable hat. It comes in an earthy color and um, kind of like a black, I think. That is amazing. I would say those are the people who bridge the gap um, between the you know good fur felt hats 
and rollable hats. Um, the Akubra um, Traveler is incredible. Uh, it's something we're getting into lately. It's a new kind of a thing, but um, their hats are fantastic. The, the waterproof proofing, the longevity of them. Um, all you have to do is basically you know, go to any Akubra video or review place and you just see tons of people raving about them, you know, how amazing they are. Snow piled up on them like this. Um, they make a really good fur felt crusher. It starts off a little bit firm, but it, ro you know, it rolls and stuff, same rolls. Um, I'm going to say their stuff is equivalent to these, you know, like $400 Borsalinos of yesteryear. Um, I don't recommend the brand new ones. I've seen some difference in their quality, but the uh, quality superior Italian Borsalinos from way back, 2015 and earlier, uh, 2000, uh, 1990s, 80s, any of those, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, they're perfect hats, um, state of the art. The only thing I'm going to say is, in that same ballpark are these um, these Akubra hats. Um, as far as performance, um, style-wise, that's something different. But performance-wise, they're pretty much the pinnacle of you know of it. Now Stetson is also making some incredible stuff. Uh, the pinnacle, the Metropolitan, is our version of it, a little bit softer. They're fantastic. Um, some of the, I would say, some of the nicest felt I've ever seen Stetson do, um, excluding, you know, vintage hats from the 30s and 40s and things that you may not find that are just like these masterpieces. But um, anything, I'm in the business 25 years, anything in the last 25 years, I think, like the felt they're using in the Metropolitans and, uh, you know, these, all their newer hats, the Highline, um, it's, again, they're going back to basics, you know, just a really thick, high-end piece of beaver felt. They snap like crazy. Um, they're roughly twice the price of the Akubras, but, um, you know, they're made in the USA, and that's a big thing. You know, I guess we got to get paid out here, and uh, finances are a little bit different, you know, so, hey, go America. But um, I'm going to say those are those are my picks, the high-end sets, and it's like the real high-end ones, like the Metropolitan, the Benchmark, uh, Benchley, the Pinnacle, uh, the Highline, those hats are super. Um, almost the entire Akubra line, pretty much, super. And I'm going to say pre-bankruptcy Borsalinos, like my green hats, I have a big collection of these. It's pretty much all I wore until they disappeared. Um, quality, superior, anything 2015 or below, or or older, uh, vintage, excellent, and um, those are my picks for the best of the best. I would say if you're going to start getting into some custom hats, there are some incredible felts being made by this master felt maker in Spain. Uh, a lot of people know him as Roche, but it's uh, Fernandez y Roche, and uh, he makes our mink and um, beaver hat. It's a beaver like 95% with 5% mink thrown in. It's, it's an old school thing, a touch of mink. Um, there was an old vintage Stetson called a touch of mink. That was the name of the style actually. So that was, um, I don't know, that's an, an old school thing and, and he's making incredible felts. His natural, the, nat the one we call the natural, the three inch brim, the stingy natural, the Valencia, those hats are, they're expensive, they're custom. Um, we have them built to our specs, every single aspect, how stiff the brim is, how stiff the crown is, the type of leather, everything is all done to our custom specs. Um, but you paying, you know, custom prices for beaver mink and stuff, but you can get them 20% off, which is pretty cool right now if you want to support us and keep the lights on at JJ Hat Center. Just go to www.jjhatcenter.com and you'll see some of the finest quality felt hats um, on the planet available right now. The natural, the stingy natural, which we have a better stock on. The Valencia, very good stock on that. It's the beaver and mink combination. The Metropolitan, 
uh, which is the uh, basically the looks a lot like this hat, but it's not this hat. It's a um, classic Stetson made in USA pure beaver, very thick, good snap, velvety texture, gorgeous metropolitan. It's really um, anything from a Cougar. The Style Master is their um, 1940s vintage looking hat. The uh, Bushman is their bigger, sort of edgier looking outback. Comes open crown. That's awesome. Everybody in the shop in JJ's, all the young people bought Bushman. Um, it's kind of like the, the cool hat. Um, they make a fur felt rollable crushable hat that will take rain and snow for days. You could just pour buckets of ice water on it or let snow pile up on from like Mount Everest or you know and it's still fine and you could roll it up. So their hats are just like they beat all the odds. I don't know how they do it. They do everything. They take rain, they last forever, they roll up and they seem to keep their prices at hundred and seventy five dollars. We carried them 15 years ago, and they cost 175 then. So when we got them back in now, I expected two, two and a quarter at least, still 175. They never raise their prices. So uh, again, big ups for uh, Akubra, whoop whoop, and uh, I'll play you guys out. Those are my picks for the top of the top. Um, I would say if you can't afford the Valencia, the Seville is incredible. If you want a little smaller brim version of the Seville, there's the Ken. If you want a bigger brim version of the Seville, there's the Madrid. If you want a three inch brim, the Madrid is incredible. The quality, the styling, um, I would say that's one of my favorites too. It should be up there.